All right, I think I'm ready to get going now. Let's plan a new route and... Go back to Sierra? Stabilizing a way through. Mm. The little instability thing it moves pretty often, huh? Sierra is okay. Perpetual stability. There's angry abductors at E5. But it doesn't have a big orange thing over it. Extreme conditions. Touch and go. Heavy fog. Swift storm. I don't even know what any of those things mean. Touch and go. Angry abductors. Ah... Uh, we should probably explore this once we get more experience. Right now, I feel like we need a little bit more help with everything first. So, let's see if we can go to E5 instead of the other one. That'd be good. Oh, by the way, this dashboard thingy here, that handbrake thingy I installed before. I have to put it here before I can use it. Yes, now it's on control. Sounds good to me. Another day in the Pacific Northwest, in the Olympic Exclusion Zone. Another day of being haunted by various creatures, probably. Hopefully we're not gonna get eaten, but uh, who really knows, I guess. For now, I still feel kind of okay about the whole being obsessed with the car thing. But who knows what'll happen later. Back roads, back roads. A dead end do not enter. Is there a reason to go to places that are dead endy? Yeah, we can go. Oh, let's just go to this one. It's a nice day today. Ish. Angry abductors. The abductors in this part of the zone are particularly aggressive and much more active in their pursuit. Mmm, if they just drag me around a little bit, hopefully it won't be too bad. So I can see we have two... If we can grab both of those before we leave here, I think I'd be pretty happy about that. Is it raining? Damn, that sucks. The, all these different icons, different types of buildings. I don't know exactly what they are. ARDA trailer. But maybe we can do a, something like this. Go down here, grab this one, grab this one, and then like, get out like that. In a perfect world, right? <laughs> we'll see if things go that smoothly. Oh god. Yeah, the roads here are kind of... They're just mud roads. They're not exactly government-built roads or anything like that. Gotta get out the old scrapper already. Now I know I can't let any of you go. No one around here? Good, good. Road flares. Yes. Okay. I wonder if the rain does anything for... I don't think the cars or the parts have any corrosion or anything like that, which is good. That's good. Thankfully. So I don't think I really want to deal with that. Thank you. Where do we find chemicals, though? Because I do feel like that's not as common as the other stuff. There's other house down the road. Fuel tanker. It does seem a little bit silly, though, because if we could just pull off these doors, then, like, why are we scrapping them like this? <laughs> we want doors. We need doors. We should just take the whole damn thing. But we can't. Here we go. Oh, see? These are nice wheels, right? We should take their wheels. Whoa! They've got so much fuel here, because it's a fuel tanker. That's why. These road- oh, these tires are so good, it takes a while to even break down. This one's busted. Well, I think I probably need to make a new scrapper soon. Oh! There's an abductor already! I don't know how to feel about that, man. Okay. We good for now? See <laughs> Didn't fix the quirk, now it's still there. 
Do we have to fix it? We can't fix it now. We have to go back to the workshop to fix it, right? I think so. Just gotta bear with it. Oh, my inventory is so small. Gotta be careful. We'll just go straight down then? Down here? Yeah, that makes sense to me. And then we have another house along the way. Right over here. Oh, but the abductors, you do see some in the distance, and I don't want to really piss them off. Bad gateway area, proceed. What does that mean? Oh, I didn't make a new scrapper yet. Hold up. Do I have enough supplies? I didn't actually bring that much up with me. Ow. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Is there a trunk in here? Yes. How come they don't let us pick up the flares? I don't know. It's not considered as materials, I guess. Because we'll end up finding too much of them. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm still sort of wondering how last time... Why did we get... Because that... Because that abductor... It takes stuff magnetically, right? But somehow it was able to drag me. Is it because I have some magnetic stuff on my shirt, or... Am I actually secretly a robot, but no one knows because no one's seen me yet? You know, that could be true. I could be... Something could be weird about me. No one has seen me. Everyone's just communicating with me by... Telephone or walkie-talkie or what have you. It's totally possible. Thank you. And then we also have this over here. It's not locked. Thankfully. You know, I never... I don't think we can fight in this at all. We don't have any sort of weapons or anything like that. We just... Either run away or try to outsmart things. I guess that's the general gist of how things will go. I think that's it. Can I break the chest, by the way? No, I guess not. <laughs> There's no durability on it. Okay. Nice day today, though. It's a good day to go on a road trip, I think. Ignoring all the weird, you know, noises around us trying to bring us down. Maybe I'll even... Okay, that... <laughs> that door being open is gonna end up being a problem. It's gonna bang into something and fall off. Maybe we'll turn on some music, you know? There's some- oh! There's even sizzling mist in the day, but... Uh... It's usually not that threatening anyway, as long as we stay far away from it. That's the plan, right? Actually... Yeah, we got stuff around here. This... Oh... Uh, this is an anomaly. Pothole. Should I really be reading this right now? <laughs> hey boss! So I'm out here working with Mira and Tobias for maintenance. Tobias! And I'm afraid I've got some bad news about our gear. We've run into some trouble, and I don't think we're getting it back anytime soon. Sorry, bad start for my first potholing job. Call me when you get this, or better still. I think you should just come down here and see for yourself. Our tools, our signs, our lights, they've all taken flight, so to speak. <laughs> really, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. You should see this. You know how you told me we're normal people working in a very abnormal place? I think I know what you mean now. <laughs> I'm s that's why I'm saying you guys should team up with the people from Control. You're all working on the same kind of weird phenomenon here. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me! Hurt me a little bit. What am I hearing? There's something around here.
So I, I feel like we do see a lot of cars around here, and at some point, the kind of resources that cars can give us might not be... might not be the ones that we're really looking for. Because I'm noticing, for example, we're never seeing stuff like chemicals coming out of the cars. We're just getting plastics and duct tape, which is all still very useful, but it's not the thing, you know? Oh, there's a hot... There's hot dust here, no wonder. I was like, what's that sound? What about the back? Oh, I have a pry bar. Can I pry this open? Yeah. Ooh, jackpot. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong stuff. Why don't I just take all this? Yeah. The hot dust is pretty hard to see. We have to rely on some audio cues. think we are pretty okay here, but there's one more car here. Might as well try to get it. The abductors are okay so far. Well, this car doesn't have a trunk. Uh-oh. Oh, the gear is huge. Damn, we're already full. There's probably ways to expand our inventory when we go back. We'll have to be on the lookout for those. Eh, you can still hear the music from here. That's nice. Okay, maybe let's forgo the cars for a little bit. Can we drive to the next building? The yep, abductors are... Yeah, they're just hanging around. It's like natural... Oh! Oh, I think that's a boost thingy, right? Can we just hold up? Oh! Ooh, that probably could have gone better, but uh The alternative was us just completely rolling off the ramp with no power. <laughs> Which is probably pretty bad too. But yeah, are are the I feel like we don't know anything about the anomalies. Are they even considered as alive things or what? Do they need to eat? Do they need to breathe? The abductors are sort of these metallic things. Oh, I don't want to piss them off. I want to just run past it if I can. Okay. I think it's gone. Good. Good. We'll make a turn right here. Is my car... Is my wheel okay? Feels a little bit... Feels like it's driving a little bit funny. But maybe that's because I'm not on the road. Alright, what do we... Hey, that's... That's not even sizzling mist, is it? That's just regular mist. Is that sizzling mist? I guess it is. Is the house... Oh, there's a house behind, I see. Like they said before, you can hear a lot of birds. For some reason, the bird population has survived this whole thing. Somehow. Here we go. Arda crate. Oh, hazmat cabinet. Chemicals. Hmm, maybe if we want specific kinds of supplies, we should be looking for specific kinds of buildings. That makes sense to me. This transmuter thing. Gear turns into gas cylinder. I don't have a gear right now. Do you want me to give you a gear? Yeah, chemicals just don't come by very often. Things are actually going kind of smoothly today. I'm... I'm scared. <laughs> when are things gonna go wrong? It just takes a little bit, you know? Suddenly it's very foggy. I'll just go straight for that anchor right there. And we'll see.
I can hear, uh... Uh, something's wrong with the radio. Was this place supposed to be this foggy? I don't think so. But it is. Why is the ride so bumpy? Am I the only one who thinks that? So we do have a building that's sort of like in the middle there. What kind of a building? Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, my car. My car. Oh, I'm going back. It was some kind of a radio tower thing, I think. <laughs> I might be a little bit too zoomed in. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, my car... My car is rolling back. Like, it, I'm not on an incline right now. Why is it rolling back like that? Is that a quirk? But yeah, I've driven this car long enough to know that it doesn't do very well on slopes. So let's really try to avoid doing that. Look, it's rolling back so much. It's still gonna roll back? I think we should go. Oh, maybe... Maybe the mag- the magnet. What? What? Storm warning. Oh, there's a storm- Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we know how bad the storms get, but I, I want to get that anchor though. Do you think it's going to be okay? Honestly, probably not, because it's coming straight for us, but I'll I'll see if I can get it and then just run back to the car, maybe. Really quickly, okay? Simple, simple stuff. Grab it and go. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Whoa! What the hell? What are you doing in my car? Wait! Wait! Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? Oh! What the hell are these things? Whoa! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh no! Whoa, 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 hold up. Okay, I don't have time to think about any of this. Get back in. And uh, the storm is gonna be right next to us pretty much. I think we're either just gonna have to brave it or... I don't even know. What the hell was that stuff on the car? Let's go, let's go. The abductors... Oh no! Look, the storm's right there! But we can't escape it! There's no way... <laughs> There's no direction that we can drive that can escape that. I think the least of what I can do is maybe... Let's make sure the door is closed. Oh, oh! What are you? Broken bunny? Oh, bunnies! Bunnies, that's a bunny? I think so. Oh, did we just manage to slip by the edge of the storm? It looks like it. Oh, oh damn! Okay, maybe we'll wait here for one second then. Just wait for it to pass. It's not like we have anything else better to do, right? But those bunny thingies, can I read about them in the meantime? The abductor is also just doing nothing. <laughs> junctions on access roads. You'll often stop at multiple junctions. The only way to reach the next junction is via the gated access roads, which are automatically blocked when the route is too dangerous for travel. When the barricade is lowered, the way is open for you. Okay. Broken bunny. I don't like this. I feel like an experiment. That's what I feel like. Like someone's playing with me. Maybe to learn about me? Maybe just in the way you see a raccoon try everything it can to get into a trash can. Why would that be? Is this a response to the experiments I'm performing? Am I interesting? Am I a snack? These damn things chase me and they leap on cars or the field equipment we've set up and it's like they're playing. Please, Anna, tell me you're feeling the same way. Tell me you're seeing this. 
Nothing in nature is random. Evolution means these things in our world have function. There? Do you see that? There's like smoking things in the soup. Oh, my camera's going bunchy. Is this evidence? Like, is this? I don't know. Oh my god! Guys, look, 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 what is that? Whoa! What the hell is that? Oh. Are you looking at me? Oh. Oh. I bet you keep that food. It's gonna be okay. Oh, that was somebody on the radio. Maybe they were using the radio waves to communicate or something. So radio is one of the few things here that actually do work. Other people in the zone? That's a first. Okay, there is just way too many things happening right now. <laughs> We're supposed to get to Sierra, that's right, that's our that's our main goal here. You know what's kinda crazy though? We can't drive directly to Sierra. We have to go back to this place and then go back to Sierra. Which if it's a long trip, I can imagine that getting pretty unwieldy. Hopefully, we'll just get good enough to be able to handle all that. There's nothing in this car. I'll just have a quick look around here. Looks like there's a few trailers and the abductor. And the plasma tower. And some hot dust. Oh, oh. Okay, this is not good, but I'm here anyway. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Right now. Mm, if we if we get good enough at looking at these trailers, I think we'll notice that certain supplies appear in certain crates, certain areas often. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. Should probably heal. Okay, this isn't a place we can be in. Oh, it's less foggy now, by the way. Have you noticed? It just is. There's some kind of a cage over there. Yeah, there's a static. If we can get, if we can like go here, like drive the car there and then go get the stable anchor. I think that would make me happy. Very not healed up, by the way. I think the... yeah, it's just green plains here, so maybe I can just cut straight across too. Not that bad. I do... ooh, some plasma might be nice. Hey, am I eating the right stuff, by the way? I, I want you to use the first aid kit. If that's okay. Because I'm pretty hurt. Ah, oh, my car! Is, it's a little bit... ...messed up. I was thinking we could grab this. My impact hammer is kind of dying though. Whoa. Okay, grab that. Oh, my inventory! Really? There's so much radiation here. That's right, I was carrying so much crap on me. What does the abductor actually do, though? Like, half the time, it seems pretty chill to me, actually. It doesn't seem like it's that angry. But I don't want to really test that theory. <laughs> oh, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, I don't have an impact hammer. Okay. I think I'll call it a day for the plasma here. I don't want to get hurt. These are nice. But the main thing I want is really the anchor over there. There might be a storm coming in soon. Maybe? The big area? Actually, what is that? What is that? Huh. I feel like it's a little bit too far for me to worry about right now, but... Maybe noted for the future. Get back on the road. Get back on the road. 
I know we're a little bit off course again. There's abductors everywhere. Sizzling mist. Everyone out to make my day bad. I don't really see it. Oh, I see an abductor though. <laughs> There's another storm warning. I'm gonna just... We're fine, we're fine. Oh, ooh, that's a little bit further than I was expecting. Don't touch my car, okay? I'm just gonna grab this and... It'll be chill. Things will be chill. I'll have some canned food just in case. I can't take all of it in one go. I gotta eat it one by one. What the? What? Oh, what? Wait, did I just drop this? No, my healing- I ate- what? I ate it though. That was weird. Let's go- Whoa! Oh. How many times are you gonna do that? Good, good. We're grabbing a whole bunch of this stuff. We're fine. Oh, what's that? Good. Keep going. Check this out while I'm at it. Charge stop. Oh, can I like charge my car or something? That'd be pretty cool. Turning off the radio for a second here. Is my car battery charging by being inside this? Yeah, it looks like it. It's completely charged. That's cool. Did I have to do anything here? Structure. Charge stop. How'd I even begin to sum up my first few days on the job? My first experiences working for this organization? I have no idea where to start. Arda is doing some remarkable things and has plans for so much more. And the organization is growing at such a rate. It really feels like we're recruiting the best of the best here, both at home and from overseas. We've been flying in new hires from halfway across the world. An admin can't process the security clearances fast enough. It looks like I've been assigned to the outfit researching inductive charging and resonant coupling. The team is small, but we'll be working with the very latest LIM technology, and there's already talk of how we might have a functional prototype by the end of next year. That means a working charging station, one deployed in the field, able to power devices from as small as a radio or as large as a small train. It's truly astonishing, and every morning I have to pinch myself. The technology was pretty good here. They had the best state-of-the-art computers, the 32-bit character, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Remember that? Cool. Sweet. Great little pick-me-up along the way. How's my fuel doing, by the way? I should probably... get my fuel here. If they put the charge stop and the gas station in a single thing, then that would be even more revolutionary. But I don't think we're at that kind of <laughs> evolution yet. So the fuel can's gone, but I do have an extra... I have a bigger fuel can here. That's, um... We do have limitations. Even if the day is going well, we have resource limitations. Whoa! 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 Oh no, it's coming straight from the exit side. Do you wanna just wait it out for a second? Are we protected in here? Actually, sort of seems like it. No, it's just because the storm's going away. That's all. Okay, I think we can start heading off. Oh, hold up. What's wrong with my wheel? What's wrong with you? The wheel's loose. Mechanics kit. I don't have that many of these. That's why I was a little bit hesitant about using it earlier. All good. 
For now, we'll just have to remember to shut that off. There's another border that's creeping up on us. Probably best to get going if we can. Just straight this way. On the road? On the road would be good. Okay, we're almost there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Our bumper isn't invincible. Let's just keep that in mind. The little ball on the arc device is going up and down. I don't... Oh, jeez. I don't know what that means, but it's some, some kind of instability, probably. We'll just GTFO. We good? Yeah. This is only the first leg of the trip today. <laughs> Next up, Serum. Looks nicer today, too. We came here during nighttime last time. There's a whole lot standing between where we are and the deep zone. Like another wall and the entire mid zone, for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Lim technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Mod to have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Maps for stabilizers? Okay, I got you. One thing that I find a little bit difficult right now is that I'm often trying to do stuff while she's talking to me. And it makes it very hard for me to focus because I'm trying to do multiple things at the same time in addition to talking. Okay, looks like the chemicals always come in that little caged container. Noted for the future. Oh! Lab reports number two. Maybe I'll read that later. I'm a bit busy. And let's just lift some light radiation. Not too bad. Whoa, my freaking car is already full. What am I gonna do? Like, I'm at the point where if I get more supplies, I already... Okay, that's probably a sign that we should stop getting supplies then. Or maybe we should make something. With a steel sheet. Make a new impact hammer? Gear? Well, we do need an impact hammer, so... Okay, that freed up a little bit of space. Like that. I'm thinking maybe I'll read the reports back home, because right now things are just a little bit too hectic for me to... Um, always pay attention. Okay, oh, that door being open. <sighs> Hold up. <laughs> yeah, we gotta fix that quirk when we get back home. It is kind of annoying, after all. Whoa, is it nighttime? Dang, how long have we been out? 5 p.m. No. No, I want to get a stable... Okay, we want to get over there. Okay, that's actually perfect then, because we'll just drive down here and along the way we can get two of these things. Maybe one, if we want to be conservative. Yeah, because, you know, in between those two roads, it looks like it's easy to get to, but potentially there's a, a whole mountain between them. <laughs> Let's start with one. Yeah, don't even think about getting supplies then, because I, I don't have room to take advantage of it. God, the noises. Hey, someone... someone hitchhiking. Sorry, I'm at full capacity. Car for one. Too bad about that. 
Ooh, my wheel. Oh man, we gotta keep stopping every now and then just to look at this. Oh, it didn't open this time. Look at this and that. Ceiling kit? I do have a ceiling kit. There's a flat. All right. We chill? All good? Let's go. I guess one resource that we can get an infinite amount of, theoretically, would be the um, the anchors. Oh, hold up, hold up. Don't, don't walk into the trees. We have roads. They exist for a reason. <laughs> yeah, because the stable, the stable anchor, all we do is stick it in our arc device. It doesn't take up any space. Although, it would be good to remember that it does have radiation. We don't want to get too near it. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna turn my car here because we're gonna go this way. And what I'll do is... Oh god! Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Ah! You can hold on to it? What the hell? Hey, get out! What? Can we scrap this? Is it worth- what is it? Electronics, scrap metal. We just killed it. We killed the thing. Does that otherwise do anything? I don't think it likes it though. <laughs> it's running away. Well, that's what you get for messing with me. That's what you get. It's a broken one. Broken bunny. Yeah, 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 I'm used to this. Whoa, whoa! That's a new one. Minuteman. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Get the hell out of here! Whoa, whoa, they've trapped me! Are you serious? Oh, there's a gap. Maybe it's a timed thing. Ah, minute man, as in they go away after a minute, maybe? <laughs> Neat trick, but I, I really must get going now. Sorry, bye. <laughs> okay, we're, we're good, we're good. We'll continue go- Ooh. Bye, broken bunny. Were those bunnies making my car honk? I don't even honk on my car. <laughs> Probably uses the battery. Don't do it too much. There's the... thingamabob again. Forgot your name. Ah, I feel like today's gonna be... semi-successful. Which I'm happy about. Um, I wanna get more plasma. But you know our little situation with the, the complete lack of room. I think plasma we probably have room for, though. Oh. Getting... Wait. Hurry up, hurry up! The car, the car is getting messed up. Oh, yeah, yeah, the car is getting messed up. We gotta go. Don't ruin all my hard work now, okay? I spent... It, it was going well today. Don't make it not go well. <laughs> Oh, how's our fuel, by the way? What? I... I know, I know, we keep stopping every two seconds, but I see something and I'm just like, Oh, yeah! Shouldn't we be doing that? Look! Some free gas here. Um... I'll put mine on the ground, maybe? The logo. Put in detailing station to equip. No, 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 no. Uh, I can't hold the... Um, there we go. I can't hold the flare at the same time. What the hell? Is that my stuff? Who's throwing stuff at me? What the hell? That's just the nozzle. Hey. That's probably a quirk. I don't know which quirk, but it is a quirk. 
Yeah, I don't have repair putty. I could make some, but let's maybe get to the observation tower first. The towers are locked up tight, but you could tighten up security protocols all day only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map and scan it for me. Uh, oh boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. Tobias probably used to work for Arda. And I say used to because Arda's no longer a functioning thing, is my understanding. It's not that he quit or anything. Good enough? I think the headlights are... the bumper is probably doing pretty badly. But to make this, I had to use some chemicals again. That part wasn't great. Okay, that we got the code. Four seven three five. Cool, cool. Very good. Supplies galore. Hmm, the maps we're looking for. I got it. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. There you go. Found three sector Whoa. stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Duct tape 9V battery. Duct tape? You want duct tape? Oh. It just spat the duct tape out again? Maybe I need multiple or something. Oh, so this machine probably turns one type of object into another type. But how to use it specifically? Well, I don't even have enough duct tape to test this out. That means... In some instances, we might want to bring out certain supplies. And come to certain locations with transmitters that we know of. Okay, where, where are we going now? Over there? What is it? Oh, it's a gateway. No, no, we want to go there. It's actually quite far. Um, maybe along the way... These are gate. I don't want gateways. I think I'm just gonna drive over there and hope nothing bad happens. It's gonna be a while, but um... If I can grab an anchor on along the way, maybe I'll be happy, but... We've sort of driven into a dead end here, so it's gonna be a bit of a drive. Wish me luck. Yeah, I'm gonna try to grab this while we're here. I didn't grab the other one that was closer to us because it ended up being on top of a mountain, and I don't think trying to get my car on top of a mountain would be a good thing here, but this one... It's near a settlement. Hopefully we can get somewhere. I know it's dark. I'm just... Actually, I'm trying to turn on the light right now. It's not really light. There we go. I think I'm just gonna grab this and go, pretty much. I don't have space for anything else. Oh, it kind of let me reach that. Ready? Back up via the crack. Something following us? I don't think so. Although I am dying minorly. Just from holding this damn thing. Hey, there's a nice Mr. Tourist. Sorry. No seats for you either. It's a one-seater. Damn, we're really raking that in. Yeah, okay, that went up by a little bit. That actually wasn't that much. I think we're fairly close. 
Yeah, unfortunately, I had a few scrapes along the way and my, my hood is not doing great, but it should be a smooth ride from here. Maybe I'll put on some nice jazzy music or whatever's on the radio. And we'll just get going. Home stretch now, I think. And I'll, I'll get this right before we go as well. <laughs> we really gotta fix that when we go back. But I'm, I'm a little bit upset that we... Yeah, we really have a big lack of chemicals here. I hope we find more later on. Hmm. Blistering Woods Arda Site. Okay, if you say so. We got two places to leave. The woods there can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. Oh, I'm starting from the very top. It's a Link Stabilizer Alpha Bravo Charlie. Oh, these are all so far apart. That's kind of annoying. Okay. It'll be a simple drive as long as we stick to the roads, right? Right? Oh, <laughs> let's hope so. It's my turn to give you an explanation. About the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the Deep Zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. Her husband? At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. The surge was an oh, impossible no. amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any mad mage source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10 mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Her husband was involved. That's why there was two Dr. Turners. The new hallucination event happened for three seconds. How did they even record that? I don't... Yeah, but it's not the first time it's happened either way. Can the weather let up? My god. We just gotta drive straight. That's all we gotta do. Oh, it's straight in front of us, I think. This, this massive blinking tower? Seems like it to me. Can we drive through those flo- Whoa! Airstrip. Okay, maybe let's read about that- all that back home. I have a good thing going on right now and the weather is not great, so I don't want to, um, really jinx anything. That's also new. Spike puddle. Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah? Seems good to me. We're almost there. Oh, wait, there's multiple... No, we're going here. This is the one we want to go to. We made it! Now what?
Need a guide? If I said yes, would you help me? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it though. I... Uh, I just wish the rain would let up a little bit. That would make me really happy already. Building. Zone stabilizer. It's reassuring to know we at least have some ability to temper this particularly demented flavor of meteoro meteorology that blights our atmosphere. The energy demands are truly monstrous, and the infrastructure we have had to construct and reconstruct is an engineering achievement in and of itself, but we have been successful. We have all but perfected the zone stabilizer. Perhaps now we will no longer be quite as subject to its whims. I believe that correctly activating stabilizers will now create gateways, though it will also precipitate dramatically dangerous zone storms. It is important that no one uses or modifies these devices without explicit authorization. And this thing is gonna help me? My flashlight broke while I was reading that. You know, 30 seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel sure when I was free falling through outer space. 30 seconds. Heck of a ride though. Did you know the rings of satin sing? I saw disembodied arms. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. And, uh, what about you, Oppy? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But were you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? <laughs> okay. Wow. Touchy. Clearly, she doesn't want to talk about what she saw at all. You guys are pushing the wrong buttons there. Mm, maybe something related to her husband then. Alright, we cleared one spot and now we... Oh, both of these spots are kind of hard to get to. They look like they're close, but look. If I try to like drop down here... <laughs> It's not gonna be good. Like, I gotta get back on the road and drive the road properly. I'll try my best. Try my best. Maybe we can drop down here. Oh, battery issue. Remnants were connected to the mass hallucination. Maybe we can figure out what caused it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. <sighs> Don't start. Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using Lim to motivate that gamma ray burst. Oh, yes, precisely. And where do gamma rays come from? But outer space. Feedback on planet Earth, kid. There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 you said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb-assisted mass particle collision. Or, <gasps> heck, tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. A reservoir? Or a portal? A portal? <laughs> to where exactly? To Atlantis! Of course! Now why didn't I think of that? That's absolutely it! Hey, it could be aliens! That just seems like the most probable explanation given the area and the kind of stuff we're seeing here. Uh, that was a dangerous maneuver, but it worked. We got down here without having to go all the way around. I wouldn't recommend kids try it though, that was not exactly the smartest thing we could have done. <laughs> yes? Yes? Oh. Shocked tourist. Oh, it might be double the explosion. Don't touch it. Just leave it alone. I need to make a new... I need to make a new flashlight. It's getting dark. Can't see crap. We'll get there. Oh, look at how atmospheric this looks. It's pretty cool. Anyway, we gotta... we gotta get going. 
Batteries running out. Oh my god, I'm, I'm stressed out. We don't have inventory to pick up anything else. We gotta go. I think we're at the second one. Does a radio use battery? I have no idea. Lead shielding. Test tubes. Oh, they built the lead shielding to shield themselves from anomalies. Yeah. The level of equipment back then wasn't even that great to begin with, and they're trying to make all these experiments and all, do all these experiments, observe the anomalies. What happened to all the people here, though? We know that aside from Oppie, Tobias, and Francis, there are a few people here, but it just doesn't seem like there's been that many. It's gonna make a um, flare here, because we could probably use it. Hmm, how's my, how's my car doing, by the way? I don't think I can make repair putty. Again, this is the age-old problem. It's because I don't have chemicals. <laughs> I don't have chemicals, and I can't make anything. It's a big problem. Oh, I keep doing this. I just want to turn it on. That's all. Oh, hi. Alpha, bravo, Charlie. Uh, hey, Oppie. You've never cared about any of the zone's stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not, and has never been, any of your business. You're asking us to trust you, so yes, it's our business now. How about this? You two sign off, count orbs, or whatever it is you like to do, and I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Oh. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. Hmm, Oppie might be... It might be because it's related to her Tell husband dying. Man. We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever! This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. It sure didn't seem too important earlier, when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You wanna play that game? You really wanna talk about our track records? Screw you, Oppie. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Oh, forget it. We're wasting our breath with this old man. There's gotta be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Look. If you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. But we're better off without them, trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. This really is my last chance. I'd rather you guys work together, to be honest. I don't know anything you guys know the most. It's not reassuring to know that these people are fighting. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have room for this. <sighs> we, we gotta go. Last one, Charlie. Where are you, Charlie? You are all the way back over here. Wait, why is that thing move? Why is that that marker moving? Here we go. Yeah, this is a bit of a tough ride. Tough? It's just a long ride. I'll figure it out. Whoa. Alright, chill, buddies. I'm just passing through, okay? Don't be mean. Think I'm coming up on the last curve? I'm trying to save some battery by not having the headlights on. I don't know if I can... I'm scared about not having enough battery to last throughout the trip here, so... Trying some extreme methods to conserve it. But I think we are coming up on the very last curve here. Oh, that! Well, the electricity messed up my radio. I'm pretty sure. Because I was listening to Radio Fine earlier, and now it's dead. <laughs> well, I'm fine, just turn it off then.
Are we good? This is the last one, and we've been here for so long, it's basically been like a whole day. 6 a.m. the next morning. My goodness. You know, they, they don't let you save at all in between this entire mission. It's kind of crazy. I've been sitting here for like an hour and a half, which for some people might be kind of hard. So I feel like that's pertinent information to know. It's It doesn't seem like you can save in the middle of um, a trip. Hold on, actually I'm gonna just park my car a little bit better. Which way? Following this road, I guess? Actually, I have no idea where we're going after this, so... I guess I'll just have to hope. Hey man, how do I get in? Age old computers. Wanna let me in? I really can't pick up more stuff. Like, I really can't. Whoa! That door might be better than some of the stuff I have. <laughs> no, I, I really can't pick it up. You saw it already. I... Liberator? Liber I don't even have a liberator. Hold up, maybe I'll throw away... Something. What can I throw away here? Wait, can I... Oh, my, my scrapper's almost dead. Maybe I'll just scrap something around here? Wasn't there something scrappable around here? Okay, it's dead. My back window got cracked a little bit, by the way. A bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. We really need to go back. What's a liberator? It's one of the things that we could have gone from the upgrades. We can just randomly find it. Don't even have to make it ourselves. It's a cutting tool. Remove individual sections of a vehicle. Right, right, right. I think for now, we probably don't have to use it, but it'll be nice to uh, just have it. I'll have it on me. How we doing here? We good? Is the zone going to be stable now? All right. We're in business. The stabilizers are coming online, and the way looks clear. But I'm also getting oh. spikes. The stability in your region is tanking. Get out of there. Fast. Oh. Well, she told me a oh, Gotta close that door, right? Hold up. Oh, it's already closed. Thanks. Where am I going? What the hell? Okay! Well, that's really far. I'm trying to figure out which way this is without murdering myself. Oh, why did I suddenly just get flats on both my front wheels? Am I even going the right way? I am, but the car is very... It's not working well right now. That's so far. Holy crap, dude. Oh, no. Dude, we gotta keep to the roads. Follow the pipes. Okay, we do have spare... Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep driving for now. I do have spare wheels in my trunk. I'm gonna try to wait until we absolutely can't wait, though. Hold up. We're so far. This one is so far. Are we gonna be okay? My heart is pounding. Follow the road. Follow the. Wait. Is this road. No, we gotta follow the dirt road here.
Well, if we have to go up some kind of an inclination, that's not gonna be good. Just try to stick to the, the dirt road. And then... Keep going. Keep going. Walk the road as much as we can. It's right there. Oh my god, the storm is coming. I think we'll be fine though. Ooh. Oh god. Okay, come on. Let's go home. Woo! Wow, that was... Look at how long the trip was. One hour, 25 minutes. Nice work out there. The Ooh. sector stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. One more thing. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. The mid zone crossing. Okay. I do constantly feel like I'm fighting for my life right now. If we could do more upgrades, I don't think I would complain about that at all. But maybe for now... Oh yeah, what was going on with my tires here? <laughs> it was a complete flat! Yeah, it's blown out. It's amazing that we got home, actually. <laughs> with a summer's tire. Okay, we have some stable energy. First thing we should do... Well, first thing we should do, maybe... Freaking look at the... Friendly dumpster. You got much for me? That's it? Oh, come on, dude. I know you got more. I need chemicals. You want to give me chemicals? That's it? Really? Because this time it saw that I have a complete car. I came back with a complete car. <laughs> Thanks for the chemicals. I think it only does it three times. Okay. Also, what I've noticed is that I think this car regenerates every time, so we can get all of this stuff. Actually, maybe I'll try out the Liberator right here. Wait, what? Oh, that's fantastic! But this Liberator right now? Oh, so we can use these then! This is when we don't want to scrap it. But we can also bring these to the Matter... Degenerator. I see, I see. That's Oh, that's really cool, but... I don't know how to make a Liberator right now. I don't have that formula. Super cool. Thanks, I guess. Hold up. Oh, even the wheels come off. Yeah, that's what I've been asking for the whole time. A way to keep the stuff as is. And then what I could do, since my entire car is okay intact, I could just bring it all over here. Oh, sweet. That's sweet. Anyway, first thing we should look at is probably this, right? Wait, stable energy? We only got 4.3? I thought we got 5. Oh, no, no, we got 4, I think. On top of the 0 0.4 that was already here. Okay. Things that we need immediately. How about the blowtorch? Oh, this needs unstable energy. Didn't realize. That's okay. Uh, outfitting station, detailing station, survival tools. Liberator. Hand Wait, we can't make a hand vac? Light replacement kit. How many breaches does it take to change a light bulb? What is a light replacement kit, though? Like, what is it? Wheels! Oh my god, we need- we need better wheels. <laughs> summer tires. The summer tire is worse- or it's- it's better than the spare tire, surprisingly. That's probably... Okay. That's a thing. Expansion racks, side rack. Oh, on the car? Can I mount an extra... I don't know. Limb pulse emitter. Discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. This generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electro-organic entities to hold on to or harm the vehicle. Ooh! So the, the bunnies. The bunnies won't get me, right? But is that number one most necessary thing, though? I also feel like that's a big no. <laughs> what is? 
the number one most necessary thing. I saw that we're like, um, back in the garage here. Okay, hold up. Garage. Detailing station. Cause that's cosmetics. Matter regenerator. Repair car components stored in the station while you're out on a drive. Oh, while you're out on a drive, so I can't repair it while I'm just standing here. Hmm. Just trying to figure out what's the best here. Absolute best. Uh, fax machine would be nice eventually too. Maybe I will get this. You know, 0.3? Oh, I don't have enough chemicals. Shoot. Yeah, let's just stick to looking at this. Maybe I will get the li liberator. One? Okay. One whole energy. And then we got 2.8 more. Detailing station. Hand vac. Light replacement. Anchor radar. Headlights. Making my car more durable is one thing. Steel bumper. I guess I would be good. But I want to beef up the garage in general too. Hmm. Okay, maybe I will install 0 0.5 detailing station, matter regenerator. I am interested in the fax machine. Because we have a thing that said, hey, it's recommended that we you put this in the fax machine. Here? Now we can customize our car and make it look pretty. If we put the decals on top of the rusted metal, no one will know it's crap. <laughs> oh, lots of different things going on here. Let's see. Spaceship steering wheel. Wait, how, so how do I how do I do this? Put in detailing station to equip. No, do I have to have like a related thing first? Maybe. Let me finish dealing with this first and we'll take a look at that later on. Off-road tire? Yeah, much more health. And I guess outfitting station, rapid refill pump. There's a lot going on. Improved antenna. Allows the antenna to be activated multiple times before overheating. I don't have enough stable energy. Oh, I'm down to 0 0.3 again. Oh, I'm done. That's it. Did I get things that were good? Oh, I don't have a circuit board. Hold up. I can make a fax machine. Can I make a circuit board? Circuit board. Can I still not? Yeah, outfitting station, fax machine. How come it says available zero? There's two that's available. That's a bit misleading. Okay, I'll make a fax machine. Here we go. Is it like an actual fax machine that I'm expecting to see, or like a, some kind of a other fax machine? So we just put stuff here. Oh, well that's not- that might not be very good then. <laughs> Functionally? It's just a place for us to store our logs, right? When did you last see a bird? Are we sure it's birds making the bird noises? No. Oh, can I like- Oh, there we go. Now we put it in. Hmm. That's just a log that we can look at in the future, but... For the time being... Can we read it? 
Can I read it? No, it's just a place for us to store it, I guess. Sure. Give me a second to touch on my car first. Alright, we're looking pretty good, except for the one headlight. Ah, uh, it's okay, I think we'll make do. I managed to replace pretty much the entire car with steel panels, so it does look a lot more presentable now. It's not very good, but better than before, right? I even managed to get a uh, insulated door for the back here, which makes it so that it's resistant to electrical shock, but not impact. So this is something to be aware of, but this, by default, does have more HP than the steel door. I just don't have enough materials to make more, but yeah, it's starting to look kind of snazzy, right? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit better than before. Cosmetic items. What am I doing here? Like how the space pup, the very best girl who loved chasing the moon, the ultimate ball. <laughs> what is this? UFO. I want to believe, but in the meantime, this will have to do. Are these? Oh, these are the things. The stickers that we can put on our car. I want a UFO on my car, maybe. It's telling the aliens to come here. Interior. Mirror? Where'd you put it? Oh, it's dangling here! <laughs> that's kind of cute. I feel like that's actually gonna invite some aliens over though. I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, so this is what we have available. I see. The logo. The logo is now available. The logo. There's actually a lot of different ones. Wait. Oh! The top is categories, and then the bottom... We have- oh, we can have a bubble head. Okay, let's. Yeah, I wish I would have been doing this earlier then. Do you see? The top is the category, the bottom is the item selection within the category. Spaceship steering wheel. Sure. Astral shifter. This is a shifter. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so snazzy now. What is this from? Maybe like the deluxe edition or something. Logo! The Arda logo. <laughs> That's kind of... Hood ornament. And I think I'll do the... The spaceship one. Wishing star antenna. This is installed. Stickers! Oh, sweet. Okay. Got a whole bunch of... Flags here. Cool. I think I'll stick to something simple, though. Maybe like a, an astronaut sticker somewhere. Right sticker, lift off sticker. No, it's okay, you know what? It gets a little bit gaudy when you add too much to it. But can I see... Oh, it's actually not that noticeable. <laughs> little bits here and there. Oh, some stickers, I see. Okay. What about the paints? How do I use the paints? Durability 15, camo paint. I'm actually not sure. Do I need some kind of a paint brush or something first? Okay, well, yeah, that's where we're at right now. The car is looking kind of okay. I guess next time we come back, we will... I don't know. They say I should find a way into the wall, but things are kind of getting kind of dicey. Oh, by the way, the amount of stuff I have now, it's evident that I probably need a new locker soon. But at the same time... Look, certain items, we just have way too much of. That's probably the stuff that we can find off wrecked cars, right? And then certain items like chemicals, I don't have enough of. Which, yeah, maybe, give me a second here. Let me organize this and see what we have a lot of and what we don't have a lot of. Wait, what just happened? It just auto-sorted. I don't know what I did. I think I dragged it on the thing or it did it on its own. Huh, that was weird. Yeah, so we have a whole ton of fabric. We have a whole ton of plastics and we have a whole ton of duct tape. Probably a sign that we should stop collecting these things. By comparison, plasma, we don't have very much of. We have to particularly go out and get it. Chemicals, we have so little of. Just a stack of two. That's pretty much it. But yeah, either way, I think we need to probably... Start being a little bit particular about what we collect. And we... I believe we picked up some logs last time. Can we find it so we can read it? There was like a lab report and stuff. Yeah. Lab report number two. 
It appears that a combination of the correct conductive materials, LIM enhanced electromagnetic induction, and a bombardment of electrons can substantially accelerate radioactive decay. So far, the figures suggest that we can now accelerate the decay of U-235 by as much as 8%, while R-222 is accelerated by as much as 12%. We remain cautiously optimistic. I don't think it's unrealistic to expect to reach values as high as 20%, which has enormous implications for the future treatment of nuclear waste, not to mention what we can do to mitigate the changes we're experiencing in the zone. Just some lab stuff, that's it? Not as juicy as I was hoping it to be then. Was that a report I could put in here, or actually what happened to that report anyway? I think it might have been in the back? No? Maybe I put it... Somewhere? Did I put it in the fax machine? Does it belong in the fax machine? No, I think it's just gone now. We have it. That's it. Wanna take a look at this before we go? Oh my god. Okay. We're trying to get here next time. We don't have a way through. There's extreme conditions here. So what are we trying to do then? In that case, we need to keep going further to try to get through. But you know what the kind of um, a little bit annoying thing is? So if we want to get here, we first have to go to here. And then we'll come back again. And then the next time it'll let us go to here plus the next spot. And then we'll come back again. And then the next time we'll go here, the next spot, and then the next spot. So that part's a bit... I am a little bit curious about this unstable place, but I don't know, it could be kind of scary too. Well, I'll think about it when we come back.